Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to show this deck to you. This deck is Mana Spikes. This is a slight variation of Mana Spikes, a little bit different from the one that I showed to you a while ago with the Planeswalker review. All right, so with Mana Spikes, I like to use it with Jace Reawaken, just because you have this nice ability here to just throw tons of mana into the hand. Again, here, tons of mana that can go into the hand. We're going to have a nice buff to this mana bonus here. You can pause the video at this point if you want to read more. But basically, uh, your first turn is going to give this one a plus one to the mana bonus here. And that's going to make it plus five. After that, your next turn that you play will make this plus six. Then your third turn that you play it, or that you'll, the third turn that you have will make this a plus seven. So really what it is, is it's just a, a great mechanic where we're able to load the hand with tons of mana just straight from the mana bonuses from this telepathic shock the, the psychic manipulation as well and i just recommend that at this point if you haven't seen the video for this particular planeswalker i would just go and click on that little tag that i'm putting in right here just i would say take a look at the planeswalker review it's a it's a very comprehensive one and i think you'll find that it gives a lot of good tips on how to use this one here anyway the deck that I'm showing you right now is different from the previous video just by one card here. And that's this one here, Nicole Bolas, the God Pharaoh. I like this one instead. I, what I did was I took out Teferi, who slows the sunset, took that one out. That one has some good draw ability, but this one here I decided to put in because this one is a good one defensively. And it gives you a nice option with the 20 mana up here, right? That 20 mana casting cost. If you were to get rid of this one with the first ability that Jace has, you're going to gain a lot more mana, right? So that's five extra mana. And that's a lot of times is enough to swing the tide of the battle. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. Eater of Virtue, that's the card here that I'd say is one of the most important cards. At the beginning of your turn, your first creature gets plus two plus zero and gains all the basic evergreens from creatures in your exile until the beginning of your next turn. And really what I'm trying to do here is have either a Traxa or Disciplined Duelist in the exile and then have the other as the first card because if you take a look, right, you have Death Touch, Vigilance, Flying, and Life Link. And with the Eater of Virtue, your first creature will have also the Double Strike. So that's going to help you gain a ton of life. And it's going to also help you to make sure you destroy your opponent's creatures, right? The Vigilance and Flying pretty much allows you to block anything. The Death Touch makes you able to kill everything alongside the, the Double Strike. And you'll basically kill everything and not have to worry about taking damage. A couple of other cards I like to include here, Slogurk. This is a nice one because it reinforces itself, makes itself big. And then also you have this ability to convert gems to green or blue. I kind of don't ever use that one. I like to have this one nice and big and strong, and that's basically it. Hulking Metamorph, this is a good one. This one helps you to put some buffs on creatures that you control. Uh, obviously, if you can, make sure you use it with the Kicker 10. That's just going to help you to load up the Disciplined Duelist with tons of, tons of power to just destroy your opponent. Or a Traxa. Hopefully, this will have the Double Strike by then. And then that will just destroy your opponent. Now, with any deck that you build for Jace Reawakened here, what you're going to want to do is include a lot of the draw, right? Because draw is an essential part, and it's essential because you're going to want a lot of cards in your hand because Jace here is just one that you're able to just load up with mana. And I'll show you that in the video. Now, you don't want to have a hand that's empty just because you're wasting that ability. And then here, these two, very, very good for converting gems to blue, help you to, again, make use of his abilities to just throw tons of mana in your hand. Okay, so let's take a look at some gameplay for this one. What I'm trying to do is get some conversion going, get the ability to draw cards, and then at that point, the Planeswalker here should just take over and do the rest for you. Just a lot of times what you'll find is that he's really, really good at putting tons of mana into the hand. Most of the times it's free and that just helps you to get some really good offense going, get some good defense going, and that's going to help you to win games. It's excellent Planeswalker, very, very flexible. I, I do like this one here. 
like that. Normally don't like the red because it only gives you two because it, it, it minuses from the mana bonus. Speaking of the mana bonus, what I should do, I normally do this. I show you guys here what you're looking at for mana bonuses for this one. Uh, obviously you want to go with the blue if you have that ability. Okay, it's looking interesting on the board. This one here is dangerous, so we're going to want to make sure we have a plan going in. Uh, how we're going to make sure we take care of that one. Oh, test the talents. Alright, that's one that we got to destroy as well. And it looks like we may have the ability to do that here. Just, I'll just show you guys real quick what Test of Talents does. When the support enters the board, drain all mana from the first spell card in your hand. And as you can see, spells can't gain mana. This is not going to be a deck that is too affected by that. Just because I don't have any spells here. But normally you want to make sure that you, you don't play the spells. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this first ability. As you saw, I moved the card here to the bottom. That's going to be the card that gets discarded. Boom, he's discarded. And at this point, all the mana cost from that last card will go into that first card that I have here. So that's excellent. That's, that's kind of what I was talking about, right? This deck is excellent at throwing mana into the hand many times for free. And it just helps you so much. Gets you some good offense and defense going. Alright, so looking at it now, it looks like I will go with this. What I'm going to try to do is get this guy in, use this guy to buff him, and this will help me to pay off the extra that I need for the kicker. There we go. This is looking good. What I'm going to do here, since everything is paid off, I'm just going to go with the loyalty. There we go. Hulking Metamorph. I'll go confirm here, and that helps. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to be able to put some offense together. And that's exactly what I was telling you guys about this deck, right? It's very good offensively, it's very good defensively. And the reason for it is this Planeswalker is, is exceptional. It's very exceptional when it comes to getting all that free mana that you could possibly want. There we go. Slogur is able to get a buff. Ooh, and we just got hit with the Hyksis. Okay, now we're going to have to make sure we get rid of Hyksis. Uh, and that's possibly how we'll do it. Okay. Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, is an awesome one. What I like is this ability here. You get the Heroism Emblem and draw three cards. Heroism is nice because every time you draw a card with the Heroism on this thing, you're going to ex you're gonna exile an opposing creature or or support or whatever all right so we're gonna rush to play this guy and again look at that so cool you hit that ability tons of free mana into the hand all right so that's most likely how we're gonna get rid of the hyxis here you know what i should have used this one here but I, I totally forgot too much talking and not enough playing all right let's see Nicole Bolas is going to train. That's nice. All right, Eater of Virtue. Tell you what, we'll throw this away. And that's going to help. Echoing Deeps is nice. Okay, there we are. Look, I totally forgot to use this one. See, that's the thing with playing and doing videos, I, I think. It's, it's just one of those things that's like... I can do one or I can do the other, but my brain doesn't work in a way where I can do both. Alright, let's take this step by step. Obviously, I should probably do less talking, more playing, but you know what guys, I'm here for you and that's basically what this channel is about. Alright, doing this all for you guys. Hopefully we get some whites around here. Okay, we got one. Oh, you know what? I just had a great idea. Why don't I do something smart? Use the memory reversal, right? This one will get rid of a support and a creature. And it looks like this is the only support. Haha. Okay. Boom. Get away. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now let's see if we can get back to winning this game. Get rid of that first card's mana. And then a Nicol Bolas. Okay. 
this is excellent at this point what i'm thinking is i'm gonna just go with the loyalty here you may say what you're kind of wasting a turn but you know what with those loyalty points a lot of times you can just match those because if there aren't any good things here that's totally fine what you are hoping is you're going to have enough loyalty that you're going to hit that first ability and in the end you're going to make uh, a ton of mana just off this so that's just one thing to keep in mind with this particular planeswalker and this deck discipline duelist drain from the hand all right i'm kind of looking to see if there's a way we can win this game this turn it doesn't seem like it There we go, folks. Anyway, we're... Oh, look at that. We're doing a good job. I'll tell you what. Like and subscribe. Share with all your friends. That helps the channel. And that's it for me. Good gaming, guys.